Look at Lambert Airport tonight. As you are well aware, it's in need of a revamp. Years of little planning has it lagging behind other large cities, but there is finally a new master work master plan in the works. And this week you get to look at it and comment on the proposal to consolidate and then of course grow Lambert. A big part of the master plan for the future of Lambert is looking at the terminals. Issues identified include congestion, gate sizes and quantity and walking distances. In a survey of more than 800 people last year, 82% of people commented on the number of terminals and 52% of those prefer a single terminal. The preferred option would be to look at a single unified terminal. And so that's what we want to talk about, get people's input on that, think about how we could do this, should we do this, is this where we should go? And obviously the airlines are a huge piece of this because they're who pay our bills. Right now, condensing the terminals to a single linear terminal is the preferred concept. Lambert would have 62 gates, double what it has now. At a meeting in May, travelers were excited for that change. Having everything consolidated within a single terminal, I mean, that means you don't have to cross multiple security checkpoints in order to access another concourse. You get to have all the concessions in a one single place. The West Airfield program is another big component of Lambert's future plans. Officials have been working on plans for airfield geometry improvements to meet current FAA standards. The new layout would enhance safety and give the airport more flexibility in the future. It would also reduce the number of dangerous runway crossings. We did a lot of surveys before this and got a lot of input. Anyone is welcome to learn more on the proposed projects and give input. A public meeting will be held this Thursday at the airport. It'll be from 4 to 7 p.m. Project team members will be on site. They'll be ready to talk about those plans with you and answer any questions you have. And speaking